Now we're on our desktop and I'm going to show you how to use the automated ECCD checklist version 2.1 which is the latest version and you can download this on our website at www.ischoolforms.tech the link of which is available on the description box below. Once you finish downloading the file, you will have it saved on your downloads folder. One thing you need to remember that the file is a macro based template. This one is saved on a binary type worksheet. There are three commonly used Excel type files. The most common is the .xlsx, then there's the .xlsm and .xlsb. But I'm using the .xlsb since it compresses large coded files and renders it to work a lot faster than the usual .xlsm. I'm gonna be demonstrating how to use the file from start to end so that you will see how efficient this automated ECCD checklist works. And by the end of this video, I'm pretty sure you will choose to use this file rather than stick to the traditional writing and checking of your ECCD checklists. So let's open the file right now. Once the file loads, you will be greeted by our welcome page. The first thing you need to do is to click the enable security content which is to allow Excel to run the macro coding of your file. Here on our welcome page, you can choose to click our navigation buttons if you wish to visit our Facebook page or check our latest downloadables or watch other YouTube videos we uploaded for tutorials, tips and tricks or important infomercials about DepEd. But since we're demonstrating how to use the automated ECCD checklist version 2.1, we will click on the Start Encoding Your Class Directory button. This will be your class directory. Here, you will be encoding all necessary information regarding your school, your class, and all of your learners currently enrolled in the school year, along with the dates of your baseline assessment or pretest and summative assessments or post-test. Your learner's profile is located below all of these. On the left will be the male learners and on the right will be the female learners. The class directory can cater up to 100 students or 50 males and 50 females. I intentionally program it this way since we will never know that a certain class may have more than the standard class size for kindergarten. Remember, all data that I will be encoding here in our demonstration will be fictitious and any representation to real-life individuals are merely coincidental in nature. As I encode the data here in our class directory, I will be speeding the video in order to save time. Watch closely as I type the dates for the baseline and summative assessments. You will notice that I intentionally spelled out the names of each month. This is because certain computers and laptops have regional settings that have different formats. Some units are formatted with month, day, and year, while others are formatted with day, month, and year. In order to prevent such error, I designed the format to spell out the names of each month. Now that I'm done encoding the necessary information for my class profile, I will proceed with encoding the learner's information of my class and I'll start with the male and then followed by the female. If your student doesn't have an LRN yet, you can leave this item blank and then fill it up later once you have enrolled your students on the learner's information system online. The next item would be to check what type of document was presented to you during the enrollment of this particular student in order to identify the identity of the learner. I'll finish encoding the male section with three learners for this demonstration and proceed to the female section and maybe encode three more for our sample. Okay. Let's end the sample students here. Of course, you can continue to encode more learners depending on the number of male and female students you have in your class. Once you completed encoding all of the data, you will now proceed to the ECCD checklist by clicking the learner's checklist button. You will now move to the checklist page of the file where you will be checking the manifestations of your learner's progress based on the criteria of the ECCD checklists. This item will be the first male student you encoded in the class directory a while ago. And by clicking Next Male Pupil, you will be going to Mario Luis Dizon. And the next male pupil would be Alberto Fuentes Martinez. And since we only encoded three male pupils here in our sample, the next male pupil will be blank. Click Previous Male Pupil, then Previous Male Pupil. And if you want to go to the female, just click on Go to Female List and you will see Castro Alaysa Pastor. Next Female Pupil. Maria Lim Gomez and next female pupil Angela Cruz Morales 
And next, female pupil will also be blank since we only listed 3 female pupils as well. Let's go back to the male list. So we have Juan Lopez Cruz Jr. Normally, you're gonna be placing checks on each POR item for the criteria in each domain within the ECCD checklist summative and baseline assessments. All you need to do to put checks is to click on the box of each POR column that manifests that performance. So you will just click, click, and click, and the file will automatically generate the check symbol for you. Another way of placing check symbols will be using your arrow keys on your keyboard. So, by pressing the down key, the box will automatically check itself. Or, you can also choose to use the shortcut command keys. For instance, here on the self-help domain, all of the items here will be marked P. All you need to do is to click on the first box and press shift on your keyboard and click on the last box of this domain to highlight all boxes. Then press Ctrl D on your keyboard and it will check all of it at once. Let's finish checking all of these items for all of our learners and speed up our video. Okay, I'm gonna slow it here and we're almost done checking our last male learner. Once I finish this, I can immediately go to the female learners by clicking this button. I'm gonna basically do the same thing I did with the male learners. Clicking on the necessary columns for each item and domain. And again, I'm gonna speed up this video till we finish the last female learner. We're almost done, and once we finish, we will go back to our class directory. Click here. And as you can see, there is a print ECCD button. You will just click on that and you will be transferred to the printout template of our automated ECCD checklist. If for example there is already a name here on the choose a learner to generate, it is most likely a pre-generated name when I tested the file before I uploaded it online. What you need to do is to click on the box below and choose a learner to generate. And you will notice an inverted triangle which signifies a drop down menu. Click on this inverted triangle icon and move up. You can see the lists of students we typed a while ago, both male and female. For example, we're gonna click on Cruise. All of the checks we marked on the learner's checklist will reflect here on our print template. Let's zoom out here a little bit to see the whole page. This template is designed to be printed back to back on a long band paper. Originally, the ECCD is a booklet report, but with this template, you only have to print one back-to-back -back page for each student. One side is the front and the other side is the back. The best thing about it is, all of the scores here are auto-generated, including all the scale scores. The learner's profile is already here, including all basic information about your school and your class. The file is ready to print on a long band paper, but before you do that, be sure to check if your computer's default printer setup is set on a long band paper and not on A4 or letter format. One common issue of our teachers is that when they printed a file, the output is cut off or it's resized. This is because the default printer settings of the computer did not fit the actual setup of the file. To fix that, you need to check the default size on your laptop. As you can see here, my default size is set on legal when I should be using 8.5 by 13 inches and not 14 inches. So, I need to look for the 8.5 by 13 inches, also known as folio size. Click this paper size and your template is now ready for printing anytime. Remember that this ECCD checklist is a trifold design, so you need to fold these two sides inside, which make this side the back and this will be the front. Let's go back and choose other students, and you will see the file will change itself to the respective performance scores of each learner. Moving on, as we said, this is Automated Checklist ECCD version 2.1. This file includes the ECCD summary report for baseline and summative assessments. So let's go back to our class directory by clicking here. Click on ECCD Form 2 Baseline, which is the summary report for pretest. When opened, you will have a summary of all your students in your class under one page for male and female. All results for each domain will be shown here. Because we only encoded three learners for male and female, you will have blank rows here. By clicking the hide blank rows button, all of the blank rows will automatically be hidden. All of the names for boys and girls are collated on page already. All information as well will be available here. 
let's try to check the ECCD form 2 summative. You can see it's empty since we didn't put any checks on it yet on our learner's checklists. Go back to the ECCD form 2 baseline, all of the scores are there. Sum and scaled scores are presented automatically for you. You as the kinder teacher or advisor won't need to worry to type and retype all of the information and manually count the scores and scaled scores for each student since the template will automatically do all of it for you. Definitely will save you time, effort, and most of all money. Most ECCD booklets are purchased from commercial establishments or printing press which takes a significant amount on your school's MOOE. With this automated ECCD checklist we designed, you only need to ask for long band papers to your school principal and of course, printer and ink for the printing process. So if I were you, try to present this automated ECCD checklist to your principal to save your school's MOOE some money and so that you don't need to go back on writing and checking the ECCD checklist manually which is very tiresome. That is our automated ECCD checklist version 2.1. But before I end this video, I would like to thank everyone who supported our Facebook page and who subscribed here on our YouTube channel. Please visit our website at www.ischoolforms.tech. Our website is now under a premium host and your visit to our website helps us generate funds to keep our website running online. Your subscription to our YouTube channel, hopefully, will convince Google to serve their ad platforms to help us keep our community grow. The more support we get from you online with your subscriptions, likes, shares of this video will go a long way. And with YouTube's new algorithm, please interact by commenting below what do you think you'd like us to do next for you, what other templates you think we should design, or what improvements should our templates need to help all of you in the field. Again, this is Sir Reds of the iSchool Forms that Tech. Until next time, and remember, keep it simple, efficient, and ambitious. See ya!